Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here, and today's video is on Star Wars Dooku Jedi Lost by Kevin Scott. This book takes place in 82 BBY, which is the same year as The Vow of Silver Dawn. I bought this book for $12. It's written in a style of a play uh, with parts and scenes, and our narrator is Ventress. Uh, although throughout parts of part one, uh, we had Dooku as the narrator when he was talking about his childhood. This video is only going to be part one because it's a long book compared to what I normally post on. And I'm just going to separate each video as one part. So, part one, scene one is indoors, Castle Sereno, Keep, Night. Ventress is having a conversation with Kai Narek, a ghost, and her former master when she was a Jedi. The droid LEP-10019 told Ventress she is needed. Scene 2. Inside Castle Corridor. It is revealed that Dooku took Ventress from slavery in Ratatak. Both of them have been in the Jedi Order. Scene 3. Outside. Karania, capital city of Sereno. 12-year-old Dooku is on his home planet of Sereno for a celebration. He is with sifo who accidentally knocks over Yoda. Another Jedi initiate, Arath, comes over to mess with Dooku and walks away after riling him up. Scene 4, outside, celebration, Jenza's POV. Count Gora, leader of Sereno, and his wife, Anya, Continue on to making a speech. They left their children Ramil and Jenza with their droid D4 who has already lost the children Scene 5 outside Celebration the children's POV continued Jenza and Ramil are running away from D4 Jenza wants to see some Jedi Ramil calls them freaks scene 6 outside Celebration Jedi demonstration Jenza and Ramil come upon the demonstration. The children want to go to different areas, but D4 will not let them split up. Ramil throws firecrackers on the ground as a distraction, also disrupting the crowd. Scene 7. Outside. Celebration. Jedi demonstration. Dooku's POV. Dooku sees Jenza by D4, and he follows after her once the distraction happens. Scene 8. Outside. Fairground. Dooku runs after Jenza, sifo chases after Dooku. Scene 9, outside, fairground, Jenza's POV. Someone steals Jenza's purse, she then trips while chasing after them, breaking the comlink that allowed her to talk to Ramil. Scene 10, outside, fairground, behind the stalls. Dooku helped save Jenza and Ramil from the thugs who stole Jenza's purse. Jenza then told Ramil to go and look at the security droid display while she gave Dooku a tour of the area. Scene 11. Inside Assembly Hall, Sereno. A ground quake happens after Dooku touches a carving of the Tirataka, a dragon supposedly holding Sereno together. Jenza pushed Dooku out of the way of the falling ceiling. Scene 12. Inside Assembly Hall, beneath the rubble. Yoda saved the children by lifting the rubble off of them. Count Gora came to get Jenza. Gora recognized Dooku, his son, immediately and told Yoda the Jedi had to leave Sereno. Dooku has now met his family and is taken away from them again. Scene 13, inside Castle Sereno, Great Hall. Dooku's wounds healed, Yoda apologized for what happened, but now Dooku is changed and thinking of his family often. Scene 14, inside Jedi Temple, Initiate's Training Gallery. Dooku was back to training. While he was alone with sifo Dooku received a hollow recorded message from Jenza. She wished him goodbye and that she was thinking of him. Scene 15. Inside Castle Sereno, Great Hall. Dooku has ordered Ventress to find his sister. Dooku says he can still sense her on Sereno. That is all we have for part one of Dooku Jedi Lost. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.